This is the bearing that goes on the inside of the input shaft. And this is the receiving end. Input shaft is in now. Took a bit of wiggling to get it in that last little bit. And uh, here's another input shaft. So I think what was happening is this gear here had to engage into the fourth speed clutch gear. And uh, once that engaged, then it went in that last little bit. So now I would like to install the bearing support. And uh, I'd like to do that with some silicone. So I've removed some of the silicone from here because that uh, bearing support will likely come over this area just a little bit. This bearing support has an oil feed hole right here that gets positioned at the top. If I shine a light down there, I can see where the oil would enter on this side. And so that's how the bearing gets oil. It gets it oil enters from the top and then the oil has to pass through the bearing and it drains here back into the case.
So this is without shims. The initial end play is quite a bit. This is without shims, so it's about 32 thousandths of an inch. So now I'm going to take it apart again and uh, get some shims under there and test it again. I'd like to try these two shims. So now I can bolt that end plate back on and then retest the end plate. So now it looks like it's a bit loose. It's showing about seven thou. So now I've traded this shim for one that's a little bit thicker and I'd like to put that on here and test it again. So now end play is about 3 thou. So I had that end plate off some more and actually the end plate ended up being right in at 4 thou for both the main shaft and the counter shaft and I torqued those uh, bearing end plates down with Loctite. Also this fifth gear assembly I, I, I put that together with that uh, special locking device for that fifth gear nut and also I thought it was important that I should check the clearance between the end of the tra uh, transfer case shaft and the um, locking device here on that fifth gear so I, I have a video it's called mm, it's called uh, using bread as a measuring device and uh, it gives some detail on how I did that. But anyways guys, so that pretty much wraps up three parts of uh, putting the main shaft into this NV4500.